Reporting Sky News, and the Earth is being battered with radiation from the biggest solar storm in more than six years. A solar flare on the sun's surface has sent billions of tons of matter hurtling into space towards Earth. It's uh, all moving about five million miles per hour. This energy can do things like interfere with radio communications used by airlines to navigate close to the North Pole in flights between uh, America, Europe, and Asia. Well, one byproduct of the solar storms is that they've provided parts of the UK with the rare sight of the northern lights. And stargazers will be out again tonight as that light show continues across the sky. Let's find out more about uh, the northern lights, the Aurora Borealis. Astronomer Dr John Davis at the Royal Observatory in Edinburgh joins us now. Good to talk to you, Dr Davis. Have you been managed to um, catch a glimpse of these yourselves? Uh, not, uh, not this time. I was out last night, but I didn't see anything. Okay, well, why is uh, why are they so spectacular, the, the Northern Lights, at the moment, in, in terms of the, their relationship with these solar flares? Well, the, 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 the Northern Lights are caused when charged particles from the sun crash into the Earth, and this happens from time to time, but it just so happens that about uh, 36 hours ago, there's a particularly strong solar storm, and the outriggers, the, the first wave of this stuff is arriving at the Earth right now. So we might expect to see something tonight. Great stuff. I mean, ideal conditions. I mean, in terms of a view, uh, no clouds. We can work that one out. But uh, what else uh, makes it ideal to have a good look at them? Right, well, the uh, aurora are not uh, spectacularly bright in themselves. They're more like curtains of light. So you need to get somewhere where the sky is nice and dark and uh, away from street lights. And if you, see so, if you get such a uh, good spot, you, you may be lucky and see these sort of sheets or curtains of green or possibly red light uh, across the sky over quite a wide area of sky. OK, and geographically, uh, in terms of the British Isles, is it, I mean, you get a better view the further north you go? Yes, generally speaking, these uh, aurora are f fall in a ring around the North Pole. Uh, as the storms are strong this time, that ring will expand and move south. So, whereas typically you only see these things in the north of Scotland uh, and the islands of Scotland, if the storm is strong, the, the ring may expand and move south. So, there's a, a chance at least we may see it over much larger areas of the country than normal because this is a particularly strong storm. Right. Well, I'm getting out tonight then as well. Uh, Dr. Davis, thank you very much indeed. I hope we all get a view. Uh, Dr. John Davis there at the Royal Observatory in Edinburgh on the Northern Lights.